The widow of the late Prime Minister revealed that she has details about the Taiwan affair stored in a safe place and will make those documents public if UWP MPs continue to disparage Sir John Compton. Lady Janice Compton also revealed that she fears for her safety and for that of her families. Before my husband died, he was to get all the facts, all the details of what transpired in the Taiwan affair. That is on file in a safe place. He would not use it for the good of St. Lucia and for our name. But if the maligning continues, I will be forced to put it out. I don't intend to at the moment. I just want those persons to know that he knew and I know. And if something were to happen to me or my children, it will come out. Lady Janice was clear about why she thought her late husband has been maligned to get Rufus Buski back into cabinet. She described UWP MPs who, she says, were more concerned that Sir John would dissolve the house on his return from New York than for the health of her husband. I do know of one minister who, who had a very well-known media personality go to a particular lawyer's office to see if he got enough signatures on a letter to ask for the removal of Sir John Compton as Prime Minister, that whether it would be constitutionally acceptable. These are the lengths that some people went to in their panic. Lady Janice scoffed at the idea that members of her husband's own party expressed concern that Sir John was working out a deal with the leader of the opposition, even as they claimed he was in and out of comas. One night I got a call asking me whether it was true that the leader of the opposition had come to meet with my husband, that my husband was planning some deal with the leader of the opposition, which was not true, to the extent that weeks later when Dr. Anthony called me to inquire of my husband's health, health um, I, I apologized to him that he could not come to visit my husband because of the panic among certain parliamentarians that there might be some, some strange goings on. Lady Janice's statements have created a firestorm around the island, with callers to Helen 100 expressing shock about the revelations. However, the main people fingered by Sir John's widow have remained awfully silent about the allegations. Clinton Reynolds, HDS News, Channel 4.